My name is Michael Muma. I work at the Goddard Space Flight Center uh, for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in Greenbelt, Maryland. Our team has discovered methane on Mars. The surprising thing about methane on Mars is that uh, first that we detect it, meaning it's recently generated, but in addition we find that it's being released from several discrete vents or sites on the planet's surface in either midsummer in the northern hemisphere or early spring in the southern hemisphere on Mars. And uh, yet at uh, a later season, uh, we see essentially no methane. The big question is, uh, what is the origin of this methane uh, now being released? The two principal areas are first, uh, by analogy with the Earth, it could be released and produced initially uh, primarily by biology. This would be microbial activity acting on uh, certain chemicals below the surface and then producing methane as a byproduct. But of course we can't state with certitude that it is uh, a, a biologically produced and so we also consider geochemical uh, mechanisms uh, in which uh, carbon dioxide is actually combining with water uh, and producing methane under very high temperatures and pressures. And that methane can then be released in the atmosphere separately. Uh, one of the most important uh, consequences of our discoveries is that uh, we've identified certain signposts on Mars that basically are like little flags that say, come here, here I am. NASA has several missions along these lines. Uh, one is called the Mars Science Laboratory. One of the key objectives is to understand whether life ever arose on Mars by sampling the material on the surface and then evaluating that in terms of its origins. You can, then can appreciate that if you go to this right location, you may in fact be able to identify whether biology was at work or geochemistry.